today we're going to be charging an air conditioning system on a 2006 Envoy Denali. We get this vacuum pump from Harbor Freight and a good air compressor that keeps up with it. This gauge set was Harbor Freight also. We have to pull a vacuum on the system because we had it open because we replaced the engine. So now we have to suck down and put a vacuum on it and get it down to minus 29 inches of vacuum to get all the air and moisture out of the uh, AC system. Put that on, twist it. I'm going to take this system right here, this hose, and set it on. Set it up right here. Okay. Now when you do this with the air compressor, this makes a bunch of noise. This pump creates a, oh, this is a vacuum orifice tube, so the air goes inside here, creates a vacuum on this, and then that goes through the gauge set and starts sucking down the AC system. Uh, it's going to get real loud in here when I plug this in, so we're just going to sit there and watch this, watch the, uh, watch it suck down. Okay, we let that compressor run for about 10 minutes to suck this down to minus 29. Then we let it sit for 20 minutes and it held vacuum. That means that under vacuum that we don't have any leaks right now. So now we're going to charge the system up as much as we can. So we're going to take this fitting right here that goes onto the top of the can. We screw this piece in right here. Tighten it down. And whenever you're doing air conditioning work, you want to make sure that you're always wearing safety glasses. Because if any refrigerant, when you're charging, if any refrigerant gets in your eye, it, it instantly blinds you. So now we got the can open. And now it's sucking in the fluid. This system holds just under two pounds. So these cans are 12 ounces a piece. So we're gonna have to use almost all three of them. When we get close, we'll add the little bit at the end. I just found out my tools leak in refrigerant. So that's not good. Since this thing's leaking so bad, we're gonna have to. I still have some refrigerant in here. We're gonna have to go find another tool. So we just just ran over to AutoZone and got this little fitting, so it fits in there. We got most of that other can in there, so now we're gonna open up the blue valve again and start charging through the low side again. We also need to check the high side pressure. I don't like to charge through the high side, or you don't charge through the high side, but we, needed, we do need to check the pressure on it when we start this thing up. If you hold your hand on this thing, give it a little bit of heat, shake it, that creates some pressure and lets it go in a little easier. Or a little faster. It looks like we're gonna have to start this thing up now and get it to draw in the rest of these cans.
Okay, so we started it up and got this last bottle sucked up in there. Now when you change these bottles, you make sure you turn the valve closed. It is going to leak some refrigerant out the yellow line. So when we do this, we are going to get a little bit of refrigerant to come out. So that's about all we got out of this. Can's empty. I'm going to screw on the new one. Now you want to screw these on pretty fast. So you can hear it charge up. And now we're going to do the, the last. Okay, so we started out at 77 degrees. And now we got down to 646. And it looks like it's still dropping, 45. So we got plenty of refrigerant in it. I'm not gonna add any more, just cause this is still going down. Well, let's see where it stables out at. And there's where we stable out at 40 degrees, 40.3. Uh, yeah, 40. Okay, here's our running gauges. We're running at uh, 25 on the low side, and just under 150. It's only 77 degrees, so that's a pretty good temperature right now. See, the pressures are equalizing, so this pressure is going down to what ambient temperature is, which is around 70 degrees, but it's dropped down a little lower than that. But uh, that's all right. So now we'll unscrew the fitting and we'll pop this off. Then we'll come over here and grab the caps and twist the caps back on. And there you go, that's charging the system.